I'd like to welcome our audience and our comic book readers to this world of superheroes, supervillains, dangers, and triumphs. In this world, it's a lot like Earth, but a lot not like Earth. This world has had generations of superheroes and supervillains, and our heroes will be finding themselves in the dawning of a new age. In this world, the concerned citizens for world peace, also known as Quip, protect the Earth. So today, it's a new morning in the city of Lucky Heights. Hey, what's up? You're my team? Uh, y- y- yeah, Lyle? Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bree. Hi, I'm Mary. On the subject of team names, is there one that you guys would like for yours? Oh, we should have been thinking about that. The Justice Society of Lucky Heights? Uh, no. The Super Friends? No. no. Future Force? Crime Stoppers, but the crime is spelled with a K. <laughs> How about Phoenixes? Phoenixes, we're all kind of starting a new, a new leaf. Phoenix Force. Phoenix Squad. As you guys talk, Miss Shepard just slowly types in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just that? Just the Phoenix. Yeah. Her cursor slowly drifts to save. <laughs> <laughs> My vote is still on Crime Stoppers, but with a K. <laughs> no. No! No. Anyways, here are you guys' computers. <laughs> And she brings out a um a little um notebook that she opens and it has um a couple pagers in it. Um this is for if um say we have a robbery or something that we would we feel you guys would do very well on. We can page you in and have you go take care of it. Hell yeah, stopping crimes with the law. Well, that's what we're meant to do. Um our goal here is to try and have you learn how to use your powers and integrate them into society. We care a lot about the future of Lucky Heights and, you know, four generations of superheroes has ha- left an impact on the city. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, it'd be good, just... Yeah, I kind of hope that's what happens here. Okay. So, do we start now, or do we wait... So you guys will keep that on your person. However, you're also here to do some community service for the city. And while there's no immediate crimes going on, there's always low-level crimes that need to be taken care of. Um, There is a case of vandalism on 34th Street. Um, Do you think you guys could go handle that, clean it up a little? We got this. (laughs) <laughs> All right, yeah, this would be a great opportunity to prove myself, and I I don't usually wear the costume at, uh, during the day, so that'll be nice. Change? Uh, he's rooting around in his bag, and he has attached the pager to a, what appears to be a utility belt, but there's just nothing on the utility belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nari's just looking at it and goes, why? why oh, the- um... That seems a little extra when there's- It was my sister's. It's a hand-me-down, but, like, she took all the stuff she put on it. It just, you know, like, I didn't need, like, her stuff. And he just trails off and uh, quietly puts it away. Okay. So, do you guys go out to do your community service? Sure. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah. Is that something you want to go straight to, or- have any pl- other plans? No, th- I, I'm excited to get started. Yeah, as they as they start going out, uh, Brianna just like her skin starts to change, and like you could see that she was actually wearing her super suit the whole time. It was just blending. It was color toned to her so that it looked like she wasn't. And she just like takes off her shorts, and she's wearing like a leotard under it. <laughs> and Nari just goes, "Well, you guys make me feel underdressed because this is kind of what I." Do you just like <laughs> you don't have a uniform? Uh, no. That isn't that is incredibly unprofessional. We need to get you a uniform. Why would okay? 
I can. We'll go shopping after know. this. Yeah, for sure. We should go shop. I. Look, my mom knows a, a tailor for like oh, superheroes. God, no, I, don't, I could definitely I, give him a call. I don't. And she's kind of looking at Lyle's outfit. She goes, "I don't need that." No, 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 no. It's customized. It's different for everybody. Like you could get a cape. No. Or like a. No cape. Like body no. armor, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really seen you in action, so I don't know your uh, aesthetic so much. Um, like. I'm called Mirage, and I have telekinesis and telepathy. You please, please do the math. Okay, so like a big spooky cape with like a high collar. No! <laughs> what is this? What is this? A uh, trash. A white sheet with holes cut in it. Oh, no! no. <laughs> like a tie-dyed bodysuit, maybe? No. No, that's my thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, I need to go get changed, and he rushes off towards the nearest bathroom. Nari just turns to... Brie and goes, I'm not wearing something like that. I'll just, no. I'm good wearing this. Yeah, that's fine. This is just what I used to do my uh, gymnastics in, so this is what I'm most comfortable in. Don't tell him that it's just a normal leotard. He'll flip and try to do the same thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. So, you guys are able to pick up supplies from um, a, a closet in the a community hall. And 34th Street is actually not too far away. It's a it's a brisk, you know, like maybe 10, 20 minute walk. All right. Uh, so the Timberwolf costume looks um like a... I have related it a lot to the Spider-Man outfit. It's a full body suit. Uh, the eyes are replaced with what appears to be like goggles. But it it's uh the patterns are silver and black um on it. And uh, it comes with a hood that goes over the full face cowl. And the hood has like small stylized wolf ears that come off it. And he's got a silver wolf head on his chest and back as like the family symbol. Looking good. Nari is holding Nari is holding back a, a comment that she wants to say very, very badly. But she doesn't want to offend Delisle. She's just... <laughs> she's going to lean over to, to Brie and just go... He's a furry. <laughs> really quiet. You know I have super hearing, right? <laughs> she does Like, I can hear you. Bray is openly laughing. <laughs> Nari's trying so hard not to laugh. She's trying to be, like, super polite and everything. She's like, yeah, uh, cool aesthetic. My, I didn't get to pick my outfit. This was my sister's. Hey, it looks good on you. Thank you. You look adorable. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just go do the let's just go do our job. And now I'm just Nari's giggling too. <laughs> he heads out of the building in the direction of where he was told the graffiti crime was. Well, what kind of vandalism is it? Yeah, you guys walk over, and there is a um. It's pretty easy to spot when you get there. It's a um shop wall that has been. Um, tagged with many cases of vandalism, vandalism it looks like. Hmm. Um, but the the latest is um, a really bad drawing of Hypertide. Oh. What does... <laughs> yeah, just like over the what entire thing. What does Hypertide <laughs> look like? Like, what's his costume? So, he wears like a, a, a blue and gold suit that kind of, it almost looks like it has like a shark fin on top, on his helmet. Um, so I, and it's got like hints of like Roman oh. armor okay. looking to it. Oh, and I and you said this is really bad, right? Yeah. Oh, it was spray painted on, but it looks like a ten year old could probably do better. <laughs> well, this isn't flattering at all. It doesn't no, necessarily look like uh defamation. Like there's no there's no things that says like. Hypertide sucks or anything on it though, so it could just be a a fan that sucks at art, I guess. Okay. Uh, Bree wants to assess the situation to see if she can see anyone around that might have done this. Oh no! Yeah. No, no. What is she doing? What am I adding to this? Uh, superior. Oh. Um. I rolled superior. a two. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Bree's too taken aback by how bad this drawing is. The Joker dives out of an alley and shoots <laughs> you 37 times in the chest. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna say, um, I imagine Nari's gonna look around and probably just, like, she's gonna glance around at first just to see if there is anyone there. Like, just, just seeing it out, so, do I do assess the situation with that? Um, because she's, like, looking around to see if there's anyone there that would, like, or anything that could be, like, hey, you have, what's going on? Yeah. It would be assess the situation. I think that would be it. Yeah. All right. That is a 10. That's a 10. Nice. Just a solid 10. So, um. On a 10 plus, ask two. Nice. Um, she's going to say, uh, one is, uh, how could we best end this being like get, getting this kind of fixed quickly? Um. What is the other? Uh, what is the greatest danger, quote unquote? <laughs> All right. So, while you're looking around, um, you you don't see anyone that could have done this nearby. Um, you know, it's like it's probably been an hour or two before, the, like at the least, before they saw this and like called the community center to then call you guys in to then <laughs> go clean it up. <sighs> so, you, like, inspecting this art, there's you don't see the people that could have done this. Like, there's no paint trail or something. But as you're looking around and scanning the people walking by, you do see someone with their hood up, and they're they're walking down the street, but then, like, they reach an alley about half a block away from you guys through that like, through the different buildings, and they just suddenly, like, duck in. Uh, guys? Um, I just saw a really shady character go that way. And she points in the direction. Like, like what like, kind of shady? Like, dark cloak shady, or just normal kid with hood shady? Well, they just suddenly ducked into the alleyway instead of normally turning. Oh, yeah, that that's, that's uh, sketchy person move number one. And Timberwolf is bolting in the direction of the alleyway they have, they specified. Oh, God! <laughs> um, like, a thing you guys may, like, notice is, like, uh, Lyle is totally different as Timberwolf. Uh, like, far more confident and far more able and a lot more, like, outgoing and far less racked with anxiety. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like he was raised to be Timberwolf and doesn't know how to be Lyle. <laughs> Cotton candy follows. Nari's gonna be going after as well because she this is not what she planned. Question: How fast can Timberwolf run? I have super speed, so pretty darn good. How fast can uh, Mirage run? Um, that's a good question because I have no clue if her powers could influence that way. So she's just I'm gonna say like a good probably like eight minute mile. Okay, like not too bad, but not too good. I was just wondering because uh, Cotton Candy's probably much faster than uh, Mirage, but. Probably not nearly as fast as Timberwolf. <laughs> nope. But, Timberwolf, you aren't going far, because you whip around the corner into that alley, and you see this guy oh. almost collide with him. <laughs> um, he cries out like, Stop, citizen! <laughs> the guy's like, ah! Hi. Ugh. Jesus Hello. Christ. Uh, hi? Um, uh, Timberwolf stands with his legs slightly apart and his hands on his hips in, like, the stereotypical superhero pose. Oh God! Cotton Candy runs up behind him. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry about this. Uh, you doing crimes? We'd like to ask you. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Pay no attention to my associates. Don't worry about that. Look at me. Hello. Hi. I just would like to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Cotton Candy goes over to the guy and pulls him up and just kind of holds him by the elbow. Uh, Yo, what are you and doing? Mommy finally comes over. <laughs> I'm helping him up and holding him for you. No, you don't need to do that. Nari just comes in and he go- and she goes, put him down. And why don't you talk to him like a normal person? And she this looks is, at this, Lyle. We're not arresting you. this no. person. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not. I just helped him up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, who, who are you guys? Sorry about we that. Uh, are the newly formed superhero team. <sighs> Wait. What did we say we were called again? We're the Phoenix. Okay, we're the we're Phoenix Force. 
Is it Phoenix Force no. or no. no? We're just Phoenix. Just Phoenix. All capitals, maybe with some dots between the letters. <laughs> He's super excited about having a new team. Uh, they saw that you look shady. I'm... You are really bad at this interviewing thing. Like I'm really just trying bad. I'm to help him you. calm down. You guys are being weird. You're doing the opposite I'm of not... calming him down. You're like borderline police brutalitying him. I helped him up. Um, Nari's gonna approach him like, sh and she probably looks the least weird because she's in normal clothing compared. And she kind of goes, "I am sorry about both of them." This is going so poorly. <laughs> we just wanted to ask if you would about. Have you seen that big uh, hypertide? Like, we wanted to know if you knew anything about that. That's all. And she's smiling. Oh, 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 that was it. Okay. Whew. Um, yeah. I, I don't know who did that. Uh, are you telling the truth? What are you guys talking about? Okay. Hi, sketchy person. I'm going to use a move. <laughs> <laughs> um, Timberwolf has a move called Symbol of Authority. When you give an NPC an order based on on the authority you represent and they recognize role plus savior, um, I assume this person knows who Blood Moon is, at the very least. Mm -hmm. If uh, the hypertide, like, Youth Z organization doesn't hold any sway. Okay, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. On a hit, they choose one below. They do as you say. They get out of your way. They attack you at disadvantage or they freeze. And I'm saying, tell the truth. Tell the truth? Yeah. All right. Um, for what? What are you, like, what are you asking? I don't believe they've given all the information they could about, like, the whole thing. Because they're like, what? I didn't see the art of Hypertide. Who's Hypertide? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. <laughs> What do you know? So you're intimidating him and just telling him what he knows about the... Yeah, pretty much. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, like, I, all right, uh, I've seen it, I've seen it a, a couple times. I've, uh, been walking back and forth a, a while. Uh, no, no reason for that. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't seen you done it, but I did see the artwork, um, quite a bit. <laughs> um, okay, so... I'm gonna say Nari probably doesn't believe, like, the walking back and forth, but, like, uh, for no reason. That's, that's dumb, in her opinion. Can I use Unleash Powers because that, to extend senses? Yeah. Yo, okay. Ugh, we're gonna get in so much trouble for, like, mobbing this first person we run into. <laughs> uh, that is a, um, Eight. Eight. On a 7 to 9, my condition or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. What does this mean? I assume that's use magic, basically. Yeah. Well, it's tell. I'm using telepathy, yeah. It's like, yeah, there's a condition, and my conditions are either afraid, angry, guilty, hopeless, or insecure. Yeah, those are everyone's conditions. Yeah. And like, or you can say how it doesn't super last. It's the telepathy. She does. She thinks he, the person's lying. Um, sure. Um, well, like, do you have any conditions, or... I'm, I'm looking, because I haven't seen this. Um, on a hit, you do it, means as long as you roll seven or higher, you do the thing. Not condition of your choice, not the GM's. Or let the GM tell you how your effect is unstable or temporary. So, you have to choose to either mark a condition... Or you can let me choose it to be unstable I or mean, temporary. I mean, don't uh, fry this dude's mind. We already knocked yeah, them down um, in an alleyway and, like, intimidated them maybe a little bit. Um, so <laughs> maybe mark it. Do you know if we're, are they marking a condition on them, themselves, or? Yeah, they would mark a condition on them. On themselves? Um. Yeah, Nari would take a condition for doing this poorly. Um. Okay. Then it'd probably be, um, it'd probably be afraid. I would probably mark afraid because she's... All right. So basically what marking condition does is you're going to get a minus two mm -hmm. to those rolls um, until you do something to 
dissipate yeah, for that To dissipate yeah. being afraid, you have to run away from a threat later. So I think that's, that's yeah. All right. All right, well, she'd be afraid because, like, she's worried, like, she's afraid that she's going to be hurting someone. She's afraid that she's going to lose control. She's just afraid of, she's afraid of herself Fair. in this moment. All right. So what are you, what's your, what are you attempting? Um, when he said that uh, he's been walking back and forth a few times, but then he said for no reason, she's, she wants to know the actual reason because that doesn't sound like the truth. That, so is she trying yeah. to read his mind? Yeah. Telepathy. It's, what, it's like the only right. power I have for her. <laughs> so you reach out with your mind and when you do this, you try to sense his intentions and you see that he has been worrying all morning as he tries to pull off a robbery. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, yeah. And she goes, so you're, you're lying to us. No I knew reason? it. Really? Uh, oh, okay, there's a reason I gotta go by. <laughs> he falls. <laughs> Is he trying to run away? <laughs> Can I roll to grab him? Because I was holding his elbow. Yep. Uh, what would that be? I believe that would be di- probably direct. Directly engage a threat. Yeah. What is with my rolls? Ah, that's a three. <laughs> if you level up in this episode alone, <laughs> Jamie, I will fight you. Mark experience. <laughs> uh, that's that's such Mark a Jamie potential. thing to do. I'm not saying Mark potential doesn't have the same ring to it. Not gonna lie. It is Mark experience. Yeah. Because it's what it's the yeah, currency Mark we use to level up, so. Brianna, Brianna could use a level up right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you, um, if you completely fail, does that mean I just Yeah, get to you do, get to take a hard move. Um, Unless it lists specifically what the, what the consequence for ro- doing poorly is. Uh, well, just like, I fall. He trips me up and I fall and he runs. This this book is highly um doesn't really say what I'm supposed to do if you guys fail anything. It, it's situational. It depends. Yeah, I, I think it's just it's just like uh, powered by the apocalypse system games. You, you like the GM gets to make a hard move. Yeah, if you're doing like a really bad thing, then a bad, really really bad thing happens if you fail. If it's like a simple thing, just eh, you fall. It's fine. You, you just don't do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. All right. Um, when you reach out to grab him, he, he pull out a gun. Turns and what? No. <laughs> <laughs> he throws something at you. Oh. And you don't quite see what it is, but this blade just rips past you. Oh. What? Okay. That um, is at this point that Timberwolf decides to take this guy down. <laughs> all right. But I also see that on our sheets, we don't have health. No. So, yeah. uh, when you are hurt, you have to roll uh, a move called Take a Powerful Blow. And basically, uh, b- that move oh. and how many conditions you are. Your conditions are your HP, basically. When you've marked, yeah. when all of okay. your conditions are filled you up, or like at a, you've failed a certain amount of rolls, you're, you're done. Yeah. Okay. And like, if you go below negative two on like everything, then that's yeah. also bad. Okay. Um, so yeah, take a power below. Okay. Because you are in the slicing range of this guy. Okay, um, so I rolled... This is one you want to get low on. Oh. <laughs> well. I rolled an eight. So on a seven to nine, you choose. You lash out verbally. Get, you give ground. You struggle past the pain. Mark two conditions. Uh, Yikes. I mean, the one that would fit would, would be the give ground. Yeah, like. that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. I try to, like, step back and dodge it, and I trip. Yeah. Okay. Um, Timberwolf wants to, like, suplex the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you dash after him with your super speed. Yeah, I want to, like parkour, like, from one wall to the other wall of the alley, and then just, like, after, like, doing the hop between them, drop down onto him. Oh, man. See, oh, one of the great Christ. things about this, um, get this playbook is the fact that you're supposed to describe it like a comic book, and I just, I saw that in my head. Left, right, down. Yes. 
business. Okay. Come on, Timberwolf. You bastard. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you get? Oh, I got a five. Uh. <laughs> Is that plus? Yeah, that's with the plus. Oh, God. <laughs> Mark, so that was a fail on uh, Unleash Your Powers. The powers I get from a wolf spirit. <laughs> cool. Thanks, bud. Yeah. You try to leap on top of him, but he sees it and jumps back real quick. Um, <laughs> and you just slam into the ground. <laughs> um. And he kind of, like, stops and, um, reaches for just some of the junk in the alleyway. And as he picks it up, you see it, like, sharpen in his hand. Ooh. Oh, um, shit. Um, and he readies it to throw again. Um, alright, uh, this, I feel like Nari would, uh, would then run up. She goes, wait, wait, wait! And as she says that, it would be... Uh, another and uh, she would want to hold out her hands and her power. Her she would want to use telekinesis to move, take that thing out of his hand. All right. So. Oh, remember, uh, remember, Reese. Uh, when you're doing superpower things with your character, you have a special move for that, also. I do. Yeah. So just keep that keep moment. that in mind when you use your powers. Oh yeah, the, the yeah. burn right. Right. Okay. Well, I don't think that. Would... Oh, she's any one object. Of... Oh yeah. No, there's mm -hmm. a. I do have one. It's called snatch. Oh my gosh, this is working out well. Uh, spend one burn to use your power to seize any one object. So you need to roll. You need to roll your move to see if you have that currency to do that thing. Um, I got. An... That's. Uh. That's a minus two, right? Because I'm afraid. Um, afraid I goes part... to... Um... If you're doing Unleash Your Powers, you roll plus freak. Yeah, you're good. You, your afraid condition doesn't come into play on this. Okay, then that is a ten. Nice. All right. So that would be a three burn? Because I hold three burn. Yeah, so now you have three burn, and you can spend burn to do those things you have listed automatically. Oh, yeah, one of them is the snatch is one, is she's taking that object out of the hands. Just wait. Like, and she's gonna have her hands out. Mm -hmm. Like, hold up. Great. Yeah? Um, is this with your superpowers you grab it? Yeah, yeah, like, it's, she's not close to him, because he's ran. No, she, she shouts out, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. And when she holds her hands out, the object flies out of his hand upward, like out of his reach. Yeah, he he whips around as it sits out of his reach, and he he considers jumping for it for a moment, and then like kind of stops and is like, "Well, that's a bad idea." <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, "Just we're not just ah, this went really wrong really quickly. We were just trying to ask, and I, we just don't." Don't rob it, please. And don't hurt us. We're kids. What the hell? I would like to sweep his legs out from under him. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, right. I spin kick. Are you close enough? Yeah, I'm on the, I'm yeah? on my belly and like behind him. So while he's oh, okay. looking up, yeah, I just, like right I just him. go for it. Yeah, go ahead. That's he's better. Yeah. All right. That is, um, uh, that is plus my danger. So... That is an eight. All right. On a seven to nine, pick one. Um, I would say create an opportunity for your allies, which is to say he is on his back on the ground, so it would create an yeah. opportunity for them to incapacitate him. That's true. Yeah. So I, I just, I, while I'm on the ground, I just do a quick spin and sweep his legs out from under him, and he just yeah flops down. I'm like, as you do that, you notice he's wearing steel-toed boots too. Like, <laughs> oh, I. Also, while that's happening, he yells, This kid is a criminal. We don't need to parlay with him. Oh, but I completely don't... forgot to mention that this guy has a face mask on, too. Oh, oh my god! Like, <laughs> one of those pull-up-from-the-neck, like, 
scarfs kind of thing. That would have been nice to know from the start. Yeah, that would have colored how we interacted with this individual. Completely overlooked. But it's not like a intimidating one. Okay. It's just like a normal one that you'd see anywhere. I mean, on the he's still right? trying to hide his face from yeah, us. Yeah, let's just say for the sake of it, his face max like falls out of his jacket or whatever. I'll say it was already <laughs> down. Like it was yeah. just around his neck and you see he didn't really notice it. Yeah. Nari approaches and she lets and like when she gets close enough, she uh she probably just move she moves her hand off to the side and so the knife kind of just falls back into the junk or the sharp object, whatever it was. Yeah, if when you look at this thing, it's so weird. It's like he grabbed like a piece of like chip bag and newspaper and yet somehow it hardened and turned into a circular blade. That's a pretty dope power you've got there, bud. <laughs> and she I imagine she'd be like Hey, uh, cotton, uh, cotton candy, can you check that out while we handle the situation here? Whatever that is. Check out the, the sharp garbage? Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm trying to, I was not meant to do this. (laughs) She says that really quietly before approaching, she goes, just stop fighting it, please. We, we outnumber you, and... Right now, you're the one that's kind of in in the garbage. Uh, he's like, in he's the garbage, there. and he has the ability to make garbage yeah. sharp. Lyle is holding him down. <laughs> like, Timberwolf is doing his best to hold him down. He's like, it's pretty cool how you can make things sharper. But uh, I can do something like that, too. And his claws kind of start to come out of his fingertips. Oh, what gosh. <laughs> Not to hurt him no! or anything, just to show. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should call someone. We definitely need to take this yeah. guy into, like, the nearest police station, guys. Don't we have- And Nari goes, don't we have pagers for this reason? No, the pagers so that they can call us. Oh, also, pagers? Uh, like, what century? Why are they using pa- I'm sorry. We should be discussing this up, in front of Lyle. the guy. You're yeah. under arrest. <laughs> Do any of us have cuffs or something? Lyle probably does. You don't have anything on your belt. That's right. Just the pager. No, he didn't bring any of his sister's gear with him because reasons. Yeah, no. Oh, I know. Uh, Cotton Candy goes up and takes the mask from around his neck and, like, uses that to tie Wait, his hands what? behind his back. <laughs> Hold on a second. The face mask? Yeah, it's a cloth. The, the thing around his neck. You're gonna pull that off. Yes. All right, he's not taking that. <laughs> I'm holding him down. I don't think he gets a choice. Are you holding both of his arms? Yeah, like, if I thought someone was going to help me, but if no, no, no one is, then... Nari isn't going to hold someone down, you kidding? No. Still, uh, Cotton Candy, I'd like you to directly engage threat. Sorry. Since you are trying to take something from them. Can I aid that, since I'm trying to, like, hold him down? Probably. Maybe. Is there an aid? Directly engage it, says, provoke, take power, comfort, or support. I mean, I'm supporting, um, I guess. Oh, that's what the team points are for. Oh. Which we, I How don't do think we keep we... track of team points? That is something uh, Rowan does. Yeah, you guys have, like, at least one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think you have three. I think we determined you have three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I rolled a nine. All right. I uh, could I spend since I'm helping. Could I spend one of the team points to give um her a plus one to take it up to ten? Uh, anyone working on the team can spend team one for one to help a teammate, giving them a plus one to their roll. All right. Yeah, you move it up yeah. to ten. Um. So you hold him down while I take off his mask and make it into a makeshift tie around his wrists. So I'm doing take. I'm doing take something from them. And second thing I'm doing, first thing I need to find out where I'm sleeping tonight. Second thing I need to buy some handcuffs. <laughs> so yeah, you take it. You yeah, I'm gonna say as a as a team, we impress slash surprise slash frighten the opposition. We certainly have muscled in on this guy's day in a pretty meaningful <laughs> way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, all of a sudden we, like, approach him in the alley when we do that, like, uh, 
I read his, yeah, no, we've. I can imagine why it's an impressed, surprising, fri- or frightened. Yeah. yeah, sorry, bud, not today. I'm gonna say he's gonna mark afraid. All right, we did it, crew. So you um, you tie him up. What do you do? <laughs> we walk him to the police, I guess. <laughs> just like a bunch of idiots. Just like I'm holding one hand. Like, Cotton Candy is holding the other arm. Like, it's it's like a prom walk, but we're, like, lifting him up between us. Nari is just trailing behind, and his hands are, like, tied with a cloth, like, face mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're terrible. <laughs> and, like, I imagine Nari's probably the one guiding it, so she's the one that is, like, okay, here. And, like, just being, like... Excuse us, please move up. Uh, official, okay. <laughs> official Phoenix business, and the like. Yeah, what? Official... <laughs> well, she wouldn't say that. Oh. I, I imagine he's Lyle says official Phoenix business. She goes official um, youth business. So while you're walking down the street with this guy towards the police station, the nearest police station, yeah. <laughs> um. He kind of does this, like, little wiggle. Hey, and hey, what are you doing? All of a sudden, his hands are free, and he slips out of your hold because you weren't expecting it. How the heck? Can, can we roll? <laughs> Directly engage a threat? <laughs> and he runs, and he yells, Help! These Basque people are trying to hurt me! I am a Who superhero! Is Who is masked? What? I'm masked? not masked! I'm not either! <laughs> And you are under arrest. I am. But yeah, he shouts that in the middle of the street as he runs away from you three. I don't think that's going to help him any. I'm like clearly, uh, we're like clearly super here. I'm going after him. Cotton Candy shouts criminal on the loose and runs after him. (laughs) Nari is just going, everyone like move aside for your safety, please. (laughs) Nari's just after trailing (laughs) as she starts running too. Um... Could I use super speed to catch up and just, like, leap on him? Powers? <laughs> um, no, because he uh, disappears instantly? into the crowd. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, Can't something. we just find him? Oh, wait! Okay. I have a thing. Um, this is the move that I switched out because the original one had to do with team and I didn't like it and I didn't know what it was about, so... Rowan, let me change it to something that fit uh, Candy better. Um, straight up creeping. So I'm going to roll for scoping out a place slash person looking for this guy. Why did you do that earlier on the with the with the uh, graffiti? Because she didn't have it then. Oh, she just changed okay. it for it's the just, fight. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said she could because we hadn't used it yet. So yeah, I hadn't seen it before, and I had picked it a while ago. Um, rolling plus mundane. That's an that's a seven. So, what's my best way in or out? What happened here recently? What here is worth grabbing? Who or what here is not what they see? Ah, uh, that one. Who or All what right. here is not what they seem? Yeah. Um, you are looking through the crowd, and. Um, as you're looking around, you spot him again, but this time he's not wearing his hoodie. Um, he's kind of just walking, you know, casually, <laughs> with his hands in his pockets. Um, yeah, he's just wearing a, okay. a kind of beat-up baseball cap, um, a flannel. Oh, so jeans. the Marvel civilian look. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's not like... No, Marvel civilian look is wearing a hoodie. <laughs> it's wearing it's a, yeah, it's wearing a hoodie, but the hood is down, and they have like a non-disturbed baseball cap and aviator sunglasses. It's like that is the most obvious look. Yeah. Okay, so, um, my la- my last move for now, uh, is to tell them what she saw, and then she's going to unleash her powers and uh, camouflage into the crowd and chase after him. All right. Uh, oh, minus one for freak. That's dumb. I would like to heck and take after that boy. Yeah. Like full. We'll speed. go after him in different ways. Yeah. Um. So that's an eight. So marking condition or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. 
So which one? Actually, um, can I take angry? Yeah. Because <laughs> he had probably escaped. real upset. Yeah. Yeah, so you go after him um, to grab him? Yeah. Yeah, you manage to do that. You come up behind him and grab him again. But he doesn't know who grabbed him. He's a lot, he's you just can't like, oh. see. <laughs> oh, so you're invisible. Your... You didn't just disguise yourself as a different person. No, like, she, she can kind of, like, chameleon into different things. Like, right. into the background yeah, and stuff. Yeah, he, he freezes, I guess. Yeah. For uh, your own safety, I suggest you don't do that again. It is at this point oh. that Timberwolf comes up. <laughs> and goes, hey! You! <laughs> and Nari's a panting bit and she goes, okay. <laughs> Pretty oh, camouflages. Hey guys. Hi. What part of you're under arrest do you not understand? Uh, oh, oh, all right, you you guys got me. I'll 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 go. Just and Nari just goes. Really, just don't. Uh, I had rolled a ten to unleash powers because I wanted to use super speed to like rush after him, but since uh, Cotton Candy like grabbed him, could I use that ten to unleash my power to use super strength to just like hold him <laughs> over my head? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just like hoist him into the air and just carry yeah. him like a trophy. Yeah, he's like, oh, I did. What is this? Yeah, Nari's just gonna be in the front, being like, please, please, like, what she's gonna be like, please move aside, official youth, uh, youth Z program business, please. You better be move avoiding aside. the steel toed boots. I, I am. Um, I. He escaped once. Timberwolf is not about to let that happen again. He's he is like he is so one hundred percent like done when like watching this guy like a hawk. Like this is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, yeah. This time y'all managed to march him to the police station. <laughs> Hell yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess you go in and just like flop him down. <laughs> yeah. Naru would be like this. A man was planning a robbery, and then he uh. Assaulted through three yeah. public servants. Yeah, assaulted us. Also evading arrest, obstruction of justice, wielding powers what? dangerously, attempt to maim. I'm just listing crimes that aren't necessarily crimes but sound bad. <laughs> Possibly defacing pro public property. That one we do not know of. Yeah, I we can we check? can't confirm he did that uh, did that thing, but the first stuff I he definitely check. did. I can check if he did that. <laughs> Are we just yelling this in a lobby? The the captain kind of looks down at you three and he's like, uh, all right then. Um, and he nods to the other people and was like, uh, go and um, deal with this guy while I talk to these three. Um, <laughs> and the other guy just kind of gets bustled off. Hello, captain. I am Timberwolf. These are my associates, Cotton Candy and Mirage. We are Phoenix. Why do you say that we're like your sidekicks? What? We're your sidekicks. No, we're a team. Yeah, associates. No, I didn't say sidekicks. I said so. Any this guy's you said under it like we're your sidekicks. Right. You you three are from the youths program, aren't you? This man is very under arrest, yeah. and we need a cell to put him in. Yeah, we'll decide that. Okay. Timberwolf um, is a little sorry, bit taken um, aback by this because I I, oh. I have a question. Meta question. Yeah, sure. Does this police guy know Cotton Candy? <laughs> Um. Oh. Oh God. Has Cotton Candy run in with the police? Yeah. Multiple times. Then yes, that her whole he knows. Point? Then yeah. He also knows that you guys are in the youth seat, so he's like, yeah. Hey, officer. Fancy meeting Hi you there. here. Mm-hmm. This is where I work. Um. Nari just goes. I'm sorry. We were just investigating one of the calls to uh one of our service actions, and we noticed uh a shady character and. We wanted to investigate, and, well, it sort of ended up with, uh, almost, two of us almost getting stabbed, and he was planning on robbing us. He had a face mask. Robbing something. I suggest you, Shut I suggest up. you keep loose objects away from that guy, as he can turn them into knives. Yeah, so, he, uh, like, has a sharpening power. Yeah, so we would just be careful. Watch, he has steel-toed boots, and I don't know what that means, but I would. Keep a watch out for that. I'm mean, like steel toed boots are just boots that have like metal on the end of it, and like yeah. yeah. But like if he has steel, he could use boots the power and... to make points. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why she's just saying she doesn't exactly understand how that, but that's why she's just saying keep a watch. All right. Um, he, the captain goes into the desk and kind of bustles around and he, he pulls out a stack of forms. He's like, can you guys just, uh, fill these out for me? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. 15 minute um, montage of us sitting there filling these yeah. out. Uh, and actually, like, surprisingly, <laughs> there's an entire page that's like, if, like, said offender it can't has superpowers, please describe. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, yeah. they really changed their system to fit in with new superheroes. Yeah. Uh, there's, like, there's a checkbox for what villain class they are. <laughs> oh, no. Oh yeah. What oh, what kind of class? villain class would he be? Lyle definitely I mean, marks him like... down as like low, small oh. fish, like not a. Yeah, yeah. it's villain it's class. O. o. There's X, o. S, Q, yeah, R, and o. 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 o is everyone else. Yeah, it'd be um, I think Timberwolf is like taken aback. Like, um, he's used to being with his mom, who is like widely respected and maybe a little bit feared. So like. The, I don't think they've ever been questioned too much by the police when they bring someone in or, like, do something. <laughs> and so I think this is the first time, like, Lyle has ever been at a police station where they weren't immediately on board with what they were saying. And I don't think he knows how to handle it. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, this is super weird. Maj is just, well, Nari's just under, like, she's <clears throat> considering her mis- her little miscommunication that got her into the youth, youth program. She's just filling out the paperwork. Welcome to Class O Heroes, dude. Yeah, welcome. This is what you get. It's just like, we arrested him and he still ran away. Like, come on. Yeah, that that happens. Some professional courtesy, you know? Like, where I'm from, when like when we kick down the door and we're like, you're under arrest, they, they, like, they freeze because they're like, oh, shoot. Yeah. People aren't, we aren't as respected around here. Yeah. No, like, what were you expecting? We just became a team today, and we, yeah, what were you, we're kids. honestly, we're kids, yeah, what were we're, you expecting? Actually, he's probably, like, the same age as us. Yeah, like, honestly, what were you expecting? I don't, just, like, more inherent respect in the, for the system, I guess, like, you'd think with Hypertide, he, it's like, he's, he's part of Quip, you'd think people would be more, you know, like, ah, oh, shoot. Welcome to Lucky Heights. Yeah. Welcome to Bureaucracy. <laughs> yeah, welcome to bureaucracy. Just because your, just because your mom had respect doesn't mean we're gonna get it here. It's a different town. You're one of us now. Yeah. Lyle shrugs and finishes filling out the paperwork. It is, it is immaculate. <laughs> it looks like he's practiced his handwriting. Oh God. Nice. It's just, and Nari finishes out and she goes, "Sorry for disrupting your day." She's like, apolog- she's always this very polite person, so she's apologizing she's trying to get the paperwork to the police. Yeah. He nods, and he's like, well, we get it quite a bit, and all these new class of villains trying to do whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> um, he looks pointedly at Cotton Candy and says, don't be surprised if uh, you see him again in the system. <laughs> Real quick, uh, Timberwolf walks over to the guy they arrested and is like, what's your name? And the guy's like, uh, um, uh, uh, it was, it was, um, Hacksaw. It was Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Alright. By, what's your, the name that's not your villain name? No, I mean, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, but that's not what Nari's gonna be asking for. I don't have to say anything without my lawyer. Yeah, we can leave the actual stuff to them. I just, like, Lyo wants to keep an ear out in case they ever hear about the exploits of the villain Hacksaw again. He can be like, <laughs> that heckin'. Well, she also, when the police officer said, don't be surprised to, like, see him in, like, the system with them. That's why Nari was asking. Yeah. And she goes, okay, I was just wondering. Sorry again, but you're acting You don't like have to apologize to shut the up, person Lyle. we arrested. She goes, shut up, Lyle. Just shut your mouth. Don't say my real name. That's like, what? <laughs> Who's Lyle? We're in a police station. <laughs> shut up. Um, and she's going to go, just your actions have consequences. Sorry. Uh, Cotton Candy just like looks over at the guy and is like, all right, Hacksaw. Uh, see you later, maybe. Uh, next, if we ever see you on the street again, doing anything like this again, don't expect us to be as nice. Okay. I mean, we weren't very nice the first time. We were maybe... As nice. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. We should maybe talk about our general communications with the public. <laughs> Have a team meeting. And maybe someone should learn not to speak up at every single moment. The the captain kind of ushers you guys out. He's like, alright, I'm I'll deal with this. Get out of here. I was trying to be cool. Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe someone should learn not to apologize to criminals we are arresting. You guys get kicked out of the... (laughs) (laughs) I imagine this bickering is as we are being shuffled out. Yeah, exactly, yeah, no, it's like as they're being, like, ushered out. totally what's happening. And she goes, well, okay, literally the captain said, don't be surprised if we... If we saw them in our program, I'm sorry. I would like, if you want to make connections in there, don't make an enemy out of everyone you meet. I don't see how I did that. Speaking of the program, um, at the end of the day, you guys are expected to go back and fill out a report of, like, your community service. We stopped a robbery. Yeah. yeah. So you guys gonna go back and do that? Yeah. Timberwolf happily fills it out with, like, the most- Well, not yet. Yeah. You gotta go back and just talk to Miss Shepard. That's what your okay. report is. Yeah. Wait, are we going shopping? Oh, God, not yet. no. No. Are we going shopping for Mirage? I don't think he yeah, wants to anymore. I think he thinks Mirage is mean. Oh no. And she's not. She's actually she is. Really he mean. hasn't I don't think he believes he has done anything to warrant her telling him to shut up or like that he is behaving unprofessionally when she is like running around in normal clothes and like apologizing to people they're arresting. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. While you guys walk down the street, the only people that are being stared at is <laughs> Yeah. Cotton Candy and Timberwolf. Exactly! Fair. Nari's doing, like, a good idea to be like, hey, I don't... You don't want to s- stand out too much if you don't want to get recognized and, like, attack. No, it's, like, for her... Yeah, Cotton like, Candy doesn't care. No, we're on we're on patrol. It makes the civilians feel nice to know that there are... <laughs> are you guys going back to the community hall? I'd like to yeah, know this. Yeah, we're having this talk while <laughs> yeah. we're heading back there. Yeah, no, and Nari's just like, there's no need to get... Sarah, no, they can know, they know that people are coming out here. They don't need every reminder that, yeah, there's people going out here that, you know, we're, we're part of what's considered a, basically a juvie. How would you feel if you knew that people who are in juvie were the ones protecting your city? No, no, you don't do that. I do it for the kids who don't understand. They, they like to see that there's someone out here. So you waltz into the, um, community hall. <laughs> We did and... not do the thing we were set out to do. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, we did not. You go into Mrs. Shepard's office, um, and she's like, well, did you guys have a, a good day today? We stopped a robbery. We were what? productive. I don't know if we it was good. We preemptively stopped a robbery. I, I never caught any notification of that, and she goes to her computer and starts, like, typing in to look at her stuff. She's like, a robbery? Really? Yeah, um... Preemptively. Preemptively, we saw, uh, we noticed a, uh, shady figure and using some powers and deduction, we realized that he was planning on robbing. And then he tried to stab us. Yeah. I am happy to report we neutralized the threat, uh, efficiently and quickly, and he was quickly taken to the police station, and no civilians were harmed. Mrs. Shepard looks at you guys skeptically. She's like... Preemptively, you say. Can we request getting uh, cuffs yeah. for future outings? Do you guys have, like, do we have to provide our own handcuffs, or do you provide those for us? I will have to look into the matter on this. You see, we don't normally appreciate you guys doing things that you aren't tasked out on. Um, we, were, I, we were looking for the person who might have done this, and we saw someone, we interrogated him, and then... Upon further interrogation, figured out that while he didn't do that, he was planning robbery. He did attack us also. He did also attack us. He attacked you first? Yeah, yes, we were actually. just questioning him, and then he attempted to run. When we pursued, he started- He attempted to run. Yep. He threw blades at us. He stabbed me, and then he ran. Well, tried to stab me. Yeah. So we were just trying to see who did the what you asked in the first place, and it devolved into- so what you're saying is you scared a robber off we and then ran after him and escalated the situation. I will have to talk to the captain I, and the police about this. I don't um, think that's what we were saying at all. What about your mission that you were tasked on? That was, it was 
we had reason to believe that the person doing the graffiti was also the person no, 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 we no. had re- arrested. Uh, that's not what I asked. Your your mission today was to clean up the graffiti. How did that go? Our mission was to clean it. Yes. They did say deal with the graffiti. You said deal with it, not clean it. Mari's just sitting down. Her head is in her hands. I mean, you guys did pick up the supplies to clean it before you left. We did? I said that. Yeah, you guys we did. Picked it up from the oh, level. I don't remember that. Neither do I. <laughs> you guys went there and just sat them down and completely forgot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, I think uh, the way I was thinking about it was we were going to deal with it after we, th- like, thought we had a lead on who was doing it. Like, we wanted to catch who was doing it in... Uh, the thing, because we were getting overexcited, and then that whole situation happened, and then we were like, well, good job, team, and we went home. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it tomorrow. Miss Shepard sighs, and she's like, well, don't worry. I, I don't believe that this will count as a strike on your team in any way. Um, there are strikes? Yeah, there's it's a three-strike system, but, you know, I, I don't think there's any reason to worry. It's your first day. Um, miscommunications were made, I'm sorry completely my fault. Also, why weren't we told there it was a strike system? We were not notified of that. I feel like that was part of orientation at some point. Probably. Don't worry, there's there's always a way to get rid of strikes. But like I said, this might not even be a strike. It's it's okay. You're fine, Nari. Mm. You're completely fine. I think I think you kids have had enough for a day. I think you should go home and rest. Alright. Alright. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lyle, do you have a place to stay? Lyle does not. Lyle says, I have a place. Don't worry. I'm good. Okay, that was fast. You book it before you came here? Nah, yeah, uh, I, I, it, it worked, it's, it's worked out. Okay. And I feel like Nari would just go, if you do need a place to stay, though, I have an apartment. We have an extra room that's not being used. It's fine. My roommate wouldn't care. Yeah, same. We've got a pull-out couch. Yeah. I think Lyle is, um, he's going to the graffiti and he's going to clean it instead of sleeping tonight. Oh, no! By himself. (laughs) Just in the Timberwolf costume. Buddy! God... Yeah, I also Man. think he 100% blames Mirage for everything. What? Mm. Oh. Well, let's leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Just the scene of him scrubbing the wall and thinking about, like, you know what? I might need to ask to uh, have a replacement. I, I just don't think they're professional. I'm just kind of muttering to himself. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly how I thought it would go. <laughs> And Brianna thinks we need to have a day out together and get some coffee. Mark Experience audience, thank you so much for listening to our show. I am happy to announce that we've started a coffee account while we're working on making a Patreon. So if you would like to support our work, head over to coffee.com slash Jamie Remy. That's spelled J-A-M-I-E-R-E-M-Y. And feel free to donate so that this can become my official job and I can create more content for you. If you want to see MXP art and laugh at the dumb jokes we make at our own show, you can find us on Tumblr at tumblr.com slash blog slash Mark Experience. Like the music? You can buy it all at markexperience.bandcamp.com. I am really proud of it. See you next time!